items are looking fine. Oh my god, that was awesome. It was a bit deep. It wasn't perfect, but alright. Good rotation for the exit. That wasn't good. Oh, that was really bad. Pole, but a bad lap. Touch the, touch the curb and that lost us like two tenths. So we, we could have probably done an 18-0 or something. 18-1, 18-0. ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. A Red Bull, Vettel and Max Verstappen. Vettel? That wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back It's tomorrow. closer than expected. I will be easier on the gears on this race. I'm starting uh, with Rich uh, because it gives me more power. So if I can control it, I have more power output. Uh, yes, I do have a PS4. Haven't played PS4 like in ages. I actually bought it and never really played. I bought it because of Last of Us, but now that's not coming out.
Hey Alpha, how are you doing? Uh, I only have Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the PS and the old Last of Us game. F1 eSports uh, e champion soon, I'm definitely aiming for it. And when a new game comes out, I will be grinding. So, I believe I can do it. Could have done it already last year, but there were a lot of politics involved where I was. So, couldn't really focus fully on racing. Go for a push lap, I want the fastest lap. I don't know if we can still go faster on the mediums. I don't know why, I'm messing that up when I'm pushing a bit too much. Okay, well, we already have too much tire temp. Makes sense. The next corners in the final sector will be painful. Remember me? Vincenzo, yes, I do. I do. How are you doing, man? You were watching me when I was uh, doing iRacing, right? Or was it already there for one time? How are you? Will you get early access? I hope so. Okay. Job done. Let's save the engine and everything. Voidra, she is for another 25 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, why only 25%? First of all, now um, we need it because of the timing. Um, if the new game comes out, we need to be done with this game and with this season. Um, and also, because in esports we only have 25% races, so I don't really want to practice for 50%. And it also takes just way too long. I also think with 50% races, either the AI is too strong, I have no chance and you just hear me complaining for a 50% race or you will see me just um, being quicker towards the end of the race and just overtaking the AI because it takes too long and they just struggle over longer distances. So I think 25% is actually quite decent. If you want we might be able to, if I can adjust it. Um, 100% race at the end of the uh, of the game. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of doing that against AI, We're but I mean, window. why not? How close is your monitor to you? I think it's something like one to one and a half meters away from me. Now the pace difference between us and the other teams is actually quite visible now. I don't know where the second Mercedes is. I think that must be either Valtteri. I think it is Valtteri. Yeah, because Zeus is behind us, I can see it. I'm stupid. What's the longest time you can race in your place without getting uncomfortable? That depends, like... Now I feel my back a tiny bit, but sometimes I can play 12 hours and I don't feel it. Now that you say it, I can feel it. It's a bit uncomfortable, but it's alright. Never really focus on it, you just focus on the driving. 
How big is your monitor and is it a uh, high refresh rate? It's 144 hertz and um, 27 inch. You'll find the name of my monitor in the description. It's an Acer something. I usually would have went for a specific BenQ because we I've used that last year in eSports. But the one that we use in eSports is not in production anymore, so tough luck. Don't really care, it just has to be 27 inch and 144 hertz. It was also Black Friday, so I got it for like 150 or something. It's a really good monitor, I like it. I've had any issues. Picture is crystal clear. Yeah, that's the one. And the price range, I don't know how expensive it is right now. If you're searching for something like that, it's perfect. You're the underdog of F1 Esports? I actually think I am. I know that people know I can win. But I, like, when I win, I do it like on a whole nother level. Like, Silverstone, even though it looked quite close, I was literally dominating the whole race. What I've done was, like, next level. I think I was the only guy that made an overcut work in esports. Um, Brazil was, well, the wet performance at the beginning was just something else. Then overall, I was just really happy with my performance. Um, but at the same time, I couldn't really show like that consistently. Like I'm frequently on podiums, but I know I could be like every race on a podium. I just have to get it right. Now with the team that I have, I believe, and with the new game, it will happen. I think you will get used to seeing me, oops, more often on the top, uh, top step, winning and also fighting for the drivers. I love his accent. <laughs> Thank you, Kiana. Who's your teammate? Frederick Rasmussen. So I would say the best in esports, which is awesome. I just want to drive against the best. I only want to be the best. Victory in Brazil. Well done. Thank you, Vincenzo. I know the other races, they didn't go too well, but... The only race that I really properly practice for is actually Brazil. No speeding. Oh my god, it's 60. I'm so happy that I didn't speed. Oh my god. Perfect. Yo, JD here, TL Limitless. I've seen that it's sometimes saying like with the translation, something like Terror Limitless is here. What? That was our last stop. Uh, can we watch you at Monaco this weekend? Um, it will just be on Sunday. Uh, I don't know which time. I think it will be around 5 p.m. UK. Oh no. Yes. 5 p.m. UK. Um, 6 p.m. German or CET. Um, <laughs> But don't expect me to win. Don't put any pressure on me. I hope I will have a good race, but... Right now I'm... More focused on other stuff. Still training a bit. But I just can't put in the same amount of time that I could in Brazil. Extra rotation. And also, if I'm honest, Monaco is just not my track. That's also one of the things. <laughs> Monaco, I just... I don't know what it is. The, the track feels so weird, like how you have to drive it, that I just really... I, st I just struggle to find a good rhythm. Some laps are quick and I feel like I'm driving slow. And some laps I drive like my heart out and it feels super quick. But then it's slow. Max is in the pits. Max in the pits. I have no idea. This track is a confusion for me. Maybe it will rain. Uh, I hope in quali then. I hope in quali and not in the race, because in the race I would still be stuck behind others. On this track, no chance. I even struggle to overtake Alex. Like yesterday when I was behind Alex, it's not easy. Like with the dirty air. But we also have auto ERS in his race. And same setups, but 
track is just not giving you any opportunities if you not really go for like something extremely risky and also risk so taking someone out um, that's very unlikely you see an overtake I think that the racing will be pretty dull Poly could be maybe good but that's it maybe there will be carnage that that's the thing that you guys can be looking forward to if there will be carnage you will enjoy probably a couple of laps Um, what? Okay, clear. okay, I guess that was the highlight of the race. <laughs> the hell? I've never seen a car just stop in the middle of the track. Already started practicing, I see, yeah. I think he's already driving quite a bit today. Yesterday we drove together. Don't know if he wants to drive later. I told him if he wants to, I'm up for it. Um, all down to him. But I want to make him win. I want to perfect the strategy this time and just because he's definitely the quickest out of all of them. Like on the game, easily. Even on Spain, I mean, sure, he had a two-stop, and that's why you could say he gained the time. No, it wasn't that. He was, like, his pace was, even already in quali, like, I think two times faster than George. It's not too much, but it's still, on equal cars, it's a lot. Bert is picking up pace. Yeah, that's true. I feel like Charles is more consistent, though, even... So I got more raw pace, yeah. Alex is doing more mistakes, but I think that's also down to him just switching from the F1 game to many other games. I mean, Charles is also doing other games, but... I don't know what it is about Charles. Charles is really consistent. And sometimes he has the raw pace, so... How do you speak English so good? Uh, well, in Germany, there's like... Oh, there's a big focus on um, English in school. And, well, that's kind of it. I mean, in school, actually, I wasn't, I was good at speaking. Not as good as now, because I lived in the UK last year uh, when I drove for Racing Point. And the year before already, like, I, I just needed English, like, as the main language. Pretty much every single day the last few years. So even if I sometimes think, I'm thinking in... Um, I'm thinking in English. I think it's pretty similar for some that have the same kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it's just routine. Same with racing. Uh, I could speak a bit of Spanish, but I forgot everything, like pretty much straight away after I finished my A levels. Still going purple. Nope, okay, well. What are your camera settings? Uh, I just showed them earlier. I think they should be in the stream video or someone probably clipped it. They are um, no camera shake, minus 45 angle, and minus 50 angle of view. How complicated is the German language, German that he does? Yeah, well, in German, pretty much the most difficult part is actually the articles. Like, you only have the, like, the word the, like the T-H-E. Um, we have that he does, which is like, there is um, masculine, uh, D is female, and uh, or feminine, however you say it. And thus is neutral, so usual. So for stuff like um, a book, a book is, for example, das Buch. And like a tree, I don't know for whatever reason, a tree is like masculine, it's der Baum. 
But like a flute, a flute is also feminine, it's the flöte. So uh, I don't know, I don't know the explanation behind it and that's I think the most imp important thing, like you can't really like learn that, you just have to get a feel for it in German. I don't think you can actually, like there's any kind of rule for that. Well it's also, that, that's the weird thing, like Christoph just made a point. Um, you know, like the girl is das Mädchen, so das is again neutral or neutrum. And it's about a girl, like, but it would be weird if you would say die Mädchen. Die Mädchen would be again like the plural of das Mädchen, like m many girls is kind of die Mädchen, like, I don't know. Void, thanks for another 40 43. No Hamilton fan anymore? I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's der Marcel, so it's like, oh, der Junge. Junge is boy. And there it fits again, because there is the masculine um, article. Not enough grip anymore, I believe, for fast slip, but let's see. Final second like will be difficult to beat. That wasn't great. At least we're purple. Fuchsia. Italian purple. Fuchsia. I know it from my old teammate, Dani Ada. That's a penalty. Ah, uh, no. Stupid. I just forgot that in the rivalry, you also have that. Oh man, I'm dumb. <laughs> like penalty free race. That's when your ego takes over. Well, there you go. First race of season two. And it's a win. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. We s get rid of the penalty. Should be around five seconds. Five to six seconds. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today. Let's go. Red Bull won two. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. And yeah. after today's results, Five seconds. there's a new name at 5. the top 3. of the championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today. Good one. Anthony, Good one. you pick as your driver of the day? No doubt in my mind, I have to give it to Robert Kubica. This, this is how it looks like right now. Um, we are definitely at in the development. We will have a look at it well now here you can see everything so we are starting to develop our durability because we are ahead everywhere 